hi viewers welcome to my channel so in this uh, lecture uh, we'll see how to write data from spark to hive so hive is a database in big data world and uh, one in hadoop projects once we process the data using spark or any other uh, framework so target will be hive database if you want to write to uh, hive database so uh, uh, what is the process how to do that so in cloudera cluster if you use cloudera cluster so if you uh, if uh, all the configurations set properly then if we you can that uh, using this enable hive support for spark session if you add enable hive support it automatically recognize the hive okay automatically it will connect to the hive in cloud rack cluster so in uh, in this uh, demo so i have installed hive separately in ubuntu and spark separately so how i am connecting how i am processing in spark and how i am writing uh, creating uh, tables from spark okay we'll see that and so this is a, a hive connection object i have created this is main method to to uh, i am just uh, to display uh, all the informations i am uh, setting to off mode so so that we can only uh, output we can see uh, and uh, in i'm creating spark session i'm creating so spark session builder and local mode i'm giving and app name enable hive support so extra what i'm doing is here is so actually so for the resources i am adding that hive underscore site dot xml that i am adding here to this my to uh, my project this intellij project then if you give this enable hive support it will work okay in usually the projects directly uh, all the um, uh, connections will be established if you use uh, hot on works or cloudera because hive, uh, hive will come with uh, along our uh, hive database by default it will come with the cloudera or hot on works okay so first step i am reading that spark session just i am creating using a uh, stux type i am um, externally i am creating uh, three columns uh, okay schema i am creating and uh, uh, i have a file uh, here in this path home spark desktop department so here uh, we don't have any headers so using this uh, custom schema we are providing department name department name location okay so what uh, uh, desktop department we will see desktop department what it is see here this file don't have headers so I am externally externally providing headers using uh, this uh, stack type ok custom schema so so here how to provide a uh, uh, schema externally means using schema option spark dot read dot i'm reading csv file option delimiter uh, that file is delimiter with comma so i'm use i have used comma and the schema i'm using that variable name here okay load that path that file path so just i want to read i want to load this file as a dip, uh, department table in hive that is my uh, agenda for this video so so i just i want to write this data frame to hive database so what i have to uh, i'm doing here is database uh, sorry data frame name dot write using write option we will uh, write to target after processing in spark and mode i am giving append so there will be two modes so append and override so append if you give what it to existing table it will append the data so if you already uh, if you want to overwrite means delete and if you want to create uh, you can give overwrite over 
override if you give uh, mode uh, it will override if already there uh, with the department 3 name it, it will replace department 4 i will give okay so after mode save as table save as a uh, which table so here uh, table name database name dot table name you have to give okay so currently i am here i am hard coding in the real time it will be you have to give the param uh, uh, you, you have to pass as a parameter this database name everything okay so database name dot table name i'm doing okay then uh, try block will be ended here and i am uh, if any uh, exceptions are there i am catching here that's it okay so we'll see here so currently in hive table mm, show tables so department 3 table is there ok now right click uh, run So it is running now. Okay, so it is successful. We'll see. We'll go and hive mm. now. Select star from DPT four. See that file has been loaded as uh, as a table. Okay. So we have uh, this data coming from a Spark and we are loading as a Hive table. So in this way uh, we can load data to Hive once processed in a Spark.